Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today, as you can read in the title, I will be releasing another version of the Neverwinter Character Builder Plus, version 0 0.17.0. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and if you'd like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter, although I don't upload that much anymore lately, I'm sorry about that, hit the subscribe button anyway. It's been a while since I made a video, I think a couple of months, but um, there was not much to make videos about really, to be honest. So we, of course, we recently, last week, we got a new mod, and that always means that there's updates to do. And that means a new character builder, because everyone, well, I think a lot of people want to try out the items before we get them, actually. So let's go to the change tracker as per usual. All right, so first of all, uh, in the previous mod, we also got some additional gear for the hunts that we had in Underdark. Well, let's, let's just go there. We can have a look at the pocket wiki here and here. If we set this to, uh, we can already see. I now in my database have 5,566 pieces of gear, which is quite crazy. The lowest is 350 item level and the highest is 2,700, of course. So let's go to the Underdark gear first, uh, mod 26. And I think it's the antiquated draw gear which is 19 on the item level, and there's a quite low percentage chance to get this. I don't know how much percent it is exactly, of course, but uh, I've done quite a few of these hunts, and yeah, you don't get it that often, to be honest. You can always look for yourself if you like something from here. Everything about this gear you can find here, so you don't have to look in the game. I don't think it's actually in collections. I had to get it from someone who made some kind of image with all the gear and I, um, I I took all the data from there. Very bad if it's not in collections. The next one is the mod 27 spell, ge spell jammer gear. So we of course got a lot of new gear. We got uh, a total of 166 gear pieces and I'm somewhere for me glad that there was a roll of reuse for equip bonuses so that helped a lot. Uh, at the end of the video, I also want to take a look at what now the maximum item level is that you can get in a build. Uh, here we have the um, new mythic gear that you can get from the master defense of the moon dancer trial. And we have the weapons. These are the mythic weapons you get also from the, I think that's from the master trial. And there's also the non plus one versions of these weapons, uh, which are here. These are legendary and I believe you can get them from the advanced version. Then we also have some legendary gear that we can get from the advanced version as well, which is 2600. This is 27. I think this is 25. Yeah. So there's also a lot of this in here. We have a couple of items which have exactly the same name which is a little bit annoying. So we also have some new artifacts, gear, increased the duration of portable spell jammer, detectors, resistance debuff. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I think that's an artifact that I also added. We have pendants and this is all the same buff. And we have some rings from the master version. And then we also have moon dancer binding rings. These are from the advanced version again. So the different versions of the trial will give you different pieces of gear, of course. Here's some more artifact gear. This is from the campaign and these are from the trial again. I think from both versions of the trial. These are from the campaign. Yeah, you can, you can read it all by yourself. I don't have to read it for you. And now here we have some invasion gear as well. Quite a bit of it. Quite a bit of duplicate names. Um, we have some rings. These are from the named enemies. So we have a couple of named enemies on the maps. Uh, heroic encounters. They are a little bit scattered over all of the asteroids or maps. Yeah, there's a lot of maps uh, come in, in mod 27. So heroics, I find it a little bit of a mess because you have to jump maps so much. You don't have a, a loop on one map that you can go with a train. I don't know about that one, but uh, yeah, we have this gear. Then we have some trousers and shirts as well from the trial, master trial uh, gear. Um, and I think these are from the advanced or from the seal store. Yeah. And we also have companion gear where I don't know where it's from, to be honest. I don't think I've seen it in the seal store or in the campaign store or but i might be wrong about that anyway there's a lot of new gear of course as with every mod so yeah i will edit the filter for mod 27 as i just also uh, showed then we have spell jammer the tool manager i'm already using that of course 
Um, so here, if we go to Spelljammer, you can see the campaign progress. For this, of course, you need to connect to the live server. It will automatically detect your tune. For that, you need to enable the voice chat. You can disable the volume, but the voice chat has to be enabled. And uh, you need to enable the chat log because that's where I can see which items you're getting, which marks, wild space doubloons, or bus jewels and stuff like that. And I can only add it in here automatically if you have those two enabled. You don't need have to have the combat log enabled because that's not used here, but those two you need. And if you do that, you can automatically track your progress. Very useful if you're doing the campaign on multiple tunes and you want to have a nice overview of where you are uh, with your weekly progress, for example, uh, where you need to stack up a bit more of your bus jewels for the boons, so things like that. But yeah, that's also now in here for this campaign. And I will do that for every campaign like I did before. Um, then another part of the pocket wiki, internal pocket wiki, which is very minimal, is insignia bonuses. Uh, there were a couple new ones. Let me see. I think the Wallos insignia bonuses were changed. And I think this one is new. And they also override. So if you have this one and the other one, then you only have this one. And I think this one was also new. And I think Enchanter's Hex was also new, which sounds quite interesting. If you have a lot of control powers and you're in a trial where, yeah, bosses typically are control immune. The problem is if you have an enemy that's not control immune, then this does nothing as far as I can see. So yeah, it's a bit of a specific one that might be useful because 100 magnitude is quite significant. It might be useful in trials, but uh, I'm not sure. I didn't do any testing about that. Now to finish off the video, I'm going to add a max item level build. So I'm going to add the highest item level gear everywhere. So I can just pick the top one. It doesn't matter that I have bonuses or good stats. Uh, we're going to take everything at the top here. Act artifacts, I need to look at getting the 1500. And now we have to find other 1500 item level artifacts. Actually getting the new ones. So that's the max we can have there. Enchantments. Doesn't matter which ones we take again. Just take the mythic ones. Uh, boons. These do not give item levels, so I don't have to look at that, but these do. So let's take those. Uh, then mounts. Um, let's take the four slots. Mounts. Then combat power. Can just pick something as long as it's mythic. Then we take uh, all this max, and then we can add in the correct uh, insignias. Yeah, the last one has to be the preferred one, so we get the extra item level for that. They all are selected, and then the colors, of course. Uh, color 5. Alright, so that's the mounts. Now the companion. It doesn't matter which one we take. We have to set this to maximum bolster. Uh, here we have to... Don't care. Uh, it's all don't care, actually. So let's just take something. As long as it's all mythic. But uh, if you double click, you get the mythic version with the ma maximum item level. Uh, then companion gear. We have new companion gear, of course. 1800. So let's go for that. And uh, then feats. Doesn't give item level. Let's just select it anyway. Then powers. They also don't give item level. And then buff food also doesn't give item level rights. These might, but I don't think I've implemented if they do. So I think I have everything filled in. Let's go to player stats. And here we see that the uh, maximum item level. If you're so crazy to have the overloads in your pants and shirts. Yeah, that's two more item level. But other than that, you might have a little bit of extra item level from belt items, which I also don't have in the builder but uh, this is very close to your maximum 98,554 it's getting very close to 10,000 to 100,000 now which is quite crazy 12,000 damage of course this is not the best build you can make not just the stats that are bad but also the gear itself uh, so I don't uh, promote getting this gear uh, at the highest item level. Of course, the equip bonuses are very important. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.